Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to cover how to set up your spot device so that it appears on the Flytrace mapping website. There's two ways to show where you are on a map. Now in the spot system there's a button here with maps. If you click on maps it will open a whole separate uh, window or system or something and it will show you what I consider a really complicated way of looking at your spot device. If I personally want to see all my history, sure, this is great because it, it contains all of my spot tracking history and it will stay here for, I don't know how long, forever, I guess, um, which is good for me. But I think this is too complicated for other people. As an alternative to the complicated spot mapping system, I use Flytrace. It's a simple map, just shows you where you are. You can have multiple people on it as well, which is great. Just to show you what you need to do to set that up, we go to flytrace.com. There's a couple of different parts to this site, but what we need is the spot and inreach aggregator section. When you click on that, you get this page here with all these public groups and pages on there. So you can see lots of people use this. It's mainly used by uh, gliders, like flying gliders, thus the name but it works really well for groups of bikes as well. So to log in, you simply need to create an account over here and you just need an email address and put in a password. It'll send you a link, you verify it and you're good to go. It's really simple, there's no cost. There's no, you know, you're not uploading heaps of personal information or anything. It's, it's a really simple website. So once you've got your account, you, you sign yourself in and then you get taken to your page and you can see that I have a bunch of different groups already um, and different waypoints and things. You'll get none of this when you first log in. So to create a Flytrace page, you hit, hit the button here, create new group. It gives you some default information, but what I would suggest you do is change these details. So the first thing I always do is change these details here. Click that button. You change the name. We're going to call it test group one. And I click the unlisted one. If you leave it on the home page, that means it just appears in that public list of pages before. You might not want people to see where you are. If you make it unlisted, it takes it off that page. If people have the link, they can still go there which is what, that's how I do it. The messages part, you can show the messages. So in other words, if you hit the buttons on your spot device, the message will appear on the Flytrace page so you can see it. You can have it so you don't show it if that's what you want. Once you've changed those, hit the update. That locks in the, uh, the name and the unlisted status. Once you have that, then you have to add in the different people. So it's got pilot name, so like I said, it's used for gliding, um, thus the, the field name, but you know, rider name. Now I'll show you how to get that information, the information that you need from the spot page. If you go back to the spot page, click on this XML feed button here at the top. It will give you a little thing to say that the share pages have now been moved to spot mapping, but there's another line of text that appears, create XML feed, and that's the one that you want. If you click that, then you get to put in some more information. You don't need much XML feed name, so I would suggest, I would suggest Keith's spot feed, whatever you want. Um, the device that you're going to be using, I only have the one device, so that's what it is. So just have all of these boxes ticked for all the messages. This drop down to seven days, which is just the maximum. maximum. Share message detail, I click yes for that one. So again, that's, like I said, that shows you the actual text of the messages. And you wanna make the page public. If you select private, then you're gonna need a password every time that you go in. And that doesn't work on the Flytrace page. It has to be public for the Flytrace page. Hit create, and this string of text here is the bit that you need for the Flytrace page. So from here, you can simply select that string, copy it to the clipboard, and then when you go back to the Flytrace page, you put in 
the name and you t paste in that string of text. If it's correct, it will automatically come up with spot and then when you hit add tracker, it does a little bit of a check to make sure that it's active and you are added. And that's it. That's how you get people on there. You can, if you have a group of writers with, uh, with spots, you can add in everyone else in the group in the same way. You just need that string of text from that XML feed page on their spot setup. And then to show this, there's a, a link here to the public map link. It will open a map in a new window and if there's data to display, it will show that data. It will show the track points. I haven't turned this thing on yet so there is no data to display. But that's it. That's where it will appear. Now if you get a bit lost with uh, that link, you can come back to your spot page and on the XML feed page you should see that link appear here, the one that you just created. So if you want to, if you need that again, you can go view details and I'll give you that string of text there again. And from here as well, you, you can quite easily turn that off. So for instance, if you set up a feed for a particular trip that you might want to send out to a whole bunch of people, you can set that up here. At the end of the trip, you just come back in and deactivate that feed link and then it won't appear on the Flytrace page anymore. So it's just a, it's a way of um, setting privacy I suppose for your spot device. Now something I did notice with the once you've created the feed here you used to be able to click on the link there and it would open up um, a version of the spot mapping page directly from that but that doesn't work anymore because they've changed their whole mapping system. So ignore that fact I suppose. All you need is, like I said, from the view details part, all you need is that feed ID. That's the string that you need for the Flytrace page. Now once you have this Flytrace page, you can just copy this particular link here and send that to your friends as well. And that's the link that they need to see your spot tracker on a really simple map. And the thing I like about it is it works really well on phones, it doesn't have all the frames and you know all that extra information on the spot mapping page, it's just a map and just the tracker and that's it. It's really simple. I hope you found this useful, thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye for now.